everyone, it's Carrie, and today's video is how I made a little spell book for this witch I made for Halloween season. So I started out using some coffee dyed paper and some cardstock that I used for the outside. Um, you can use pretty much any kind of heavy paper, uh, cardstock, or you could use regular paper too, um, since we kind of sturdy it up a bit with some Mod Podge and tissue. But what I did is just cut it to a, a size that I thought would look good for the doll that I was using. I just kind of wanted it to scale, but I wanted it a little bit to be like a big book for her. And then I just used this little lathe tool. It's actually for stained glass, um, just to crease it so I could fold it with a little binding in the middle. And I'm not doing, doing this real precise since I'm gonna um, rough up the edges on the paper, but I'm measuring out some little sheets of paper to put on the inside. And each sheet is folded. I'm using various kinds of paper here um, because my intention was to use these different types of paper, but in the end I decided to go with the plain sheets that just seemed to look better. And I'll just save this paper for another project. So I'm by no means a professional book binder. If you're interested in doing this the totally correct way, there's several videos on YouTube on how to do book binding. But this is just a little miniature version. I kind of just played by ear. And again, I'm still cutting the sheets of paper to size so that they can be folded and inserted in the little binding I made. And this paper is coffee dyed, and there's a lot of videos also on YouTube on how to coffee dye paper, if you don't know how to do that. I just used some instant coffee and some hot water and then kind of baked it to dry in the oven and it turned out nice and crispy and old looking. So I'm sorting out the paper and um, seeing how thick I want the inside to be and I decided at that point that I was going to use this kind of plain paper for all of the sheets so I cut out some more. And I'm using that lathe tool to crease it real good. I think I used about four or five sheets for each what they call a signature. So when you put like four or five sheets together, I think each signature is supposed to be like four sheets technically. Uh, when you fold them together, it's called a signature. So I have two signatures here. And then I hold them together with some binding clips. Uh, the part that you won't see here is that I use some uh, distress ink to ink around the edges so the paper looks extra old. And then I measured out where I wanted to place the holes for the, the thread that I'm going to use to bind them into the cover. And then I took, this is a clay tool, it's essentially just kind of a thick needle, and I measured out the, uh, where I wanted the holes to go on the paper. Uh, according to where the holes were on the outside binding. And I popped those holes in the paper as well. So I'm choosing a needle here and they say that you can use, that you're supposed to use for book binding like a waxed uh, thread. So I just decided to use some dental floss. And I'm just stitching those pages into the uh, outside cover. Uh, first, actually, I decided to use some washi tape just to make that a little bit more firm so it wouldn't tear easily as I'm sewing through it. And I repopped the holes. And then I just sewed in the first signature.
and tied it off on the end. Make sure you use some clips to hold the pages together when you're sewing. It's a lot more difficult if they're not bound like that. So on to the second signature on the second row of holes that I made. And I clumsily stitched that one in. So once I was done there, I decided that I wanted to use some tissue on the outside to make it look like a leather. And so I took the tissue and wrinkled it up and used the Mod Podge to attach it to the outside cover. I cut it to size and cut out the corners so I'd be able to fold them in. And cut out the center binding area and I laid out some Mod Podge on my craft mat and with a paintbrush I just covered the outside with some Mod Podge and added the tissue and then I did the folding over of the outside pieces onto the inside of the book And then at this point I wanted more texture on the outside so I did another layer of tissue but this time I kind of tore it up just to be able to add a, a good bit more texture and made, to, made sure to get some good folds in there. So this Mod Podge and Tissue Technique makes the outside of the book nice and firm. So I'm using my heat gun to heat it up and uh, dry the Mod Podge. And sort of creasing it so it gives it like a book binding look. Here I'm taking some dark brown craft paint to lay down the base coat on the outside of the book. So I'm hitting that with the heat gun to dry that brown paint and then I'm using some pressure of um, some other things sitting on top of it just to keep the book closed. Once it's hot and you set something on top it helps the book stay closed. So I'm just clipping out a couple of sheets of paper to protect the inside pages from the paint that I'm going to put on the outside cover, on the inside of the outside cover. Hitting that with the heat gun as well. And once that dry uh, once that dries, then I'm using a little bit of this Tim Holtz uh, scrapbook paper. It's like a Halloween design. thought it looked nice and spooky, so I'm cutting out some little pieces to add on the inside of the book. I'm 
gluing those in with some a glue stick and then I take the Tim Holtz um, ink pad and distress that up as well. So then I'm adding this with just my finger. I'm using this light brown to add some highlights so you can really bring out that texture. And then I use two other colors like a turquoise and a copper just to give it sort of a patina, like aged patina look. And then I add sort of an ivory color just to really bring out the highlights there. Then I started to add this Mod Podge but then realized, oops, take that back off because I want to ink it up and age the outside with some Distress Ink. And then I skip the part for some reason with editing why, where I put the Mod Podge on the outside of the book. But I did seal that all in after I took the heat gun to it with some Mod Podge and let it dry. And then I used some embellishments for the outside. I think they were like some Martha Stewart metal um, stickers and cut them out to make it look like a little clasp and then some corner pieces. And then later on, you don't see it here, but I did paint the word spells on it because it just felt like it was missing something. So that's the spell book that I made for my little doll. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love it if you'd subscri subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I, uh, add questions in the comment section below if you have any and I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.